Hi, so this has been a little bit. However, there is a very good reason for it. Mainly, this is the reason. I've been moving. And as you can tell, things are looking alright, actually. Starting to come together decently. Well, almost. And I still need to find a room for this, but it's almost getting this. It's a home. And also, a new desk and a new background needs to be made, so that's my next mission. So with that in mind, this is your new setup. There will be stuff on the wall there, or I might have to figure out what to hang around. So there will be stuff up there, which is probably going to try and be Minnesota Wild Thing if I can. Um, for now, I think it's going to be something else, but once I have the ability to kind of move stuff around, that will probably be a Minnesota Wild thingy magic that's going to be over there. And now the moving box is up, the proper head is back. Did you hear, guys? I'm actually back! And with that little short intro of my new home, let's start the video. What's up guys, welcome to today's video where the Minnesota Wild beat the Winnipeg Jets 2-3 two to three. and in that fashion, swept them. Doing the proper hockey sweep in the regular season, still a hockey sweep off the Jets, so let's scrape off this dusty dusty air crash. Due to the move that game happened a few days ago, I do know that and therefore I don't really recall the game that well, but I'm gonna talk about the few things that I still remember from the game because I think that's what should be standing out. First off. Four games against the Jets, that's awesome. That's awesome to win four games against the Jets in the regular season. However, it still needs something to follow it, because every time we've beaten the Jets this season, it's all been in spectacular fashion, it's all been a good boost. However, we never figured out how to build on it. With 18 games of the season, this is the standing right now. And looking at that, you think we need to find a way to win at least 12 of those 18 games left. That means we cannot have a skid like we have had Every time we've beaten the Jets, we need to find a way to build on this win and find a way to build on it with like two, three, five wins if we can. From the game, Brad Hunt might be one of the better acquisitions we got. For a fifth round pick, I'm okay with getting Brad Hunt, who has kind of been that kind of Matt Dumbbell on the power play that we kind of needed. And I think he's done well defensively as well. I would not be opposed to seeing him starting next season as a sixth defenseman or something like that, but he's definitely working in my opinion, and he can play forward, which is nice to have a little bit of versatility in your lineup. So I've been impressed by Fred Hunt. He has come in a little bit unknown, unnoticed, and he's been doing well. He's been kind of giving us a little bit of a dimension on the power play, having his shot, and he almost had a 5 on 5 goal where he clapped it, good save for Hellebuck. But he's definitely giving us a little bit of an edge, and I think he played probably his best game as a Minnesota Wild this game. And overall, I think he's played really well with the Minnesota Wild. People were kind of comparing it, oh, it's just going to be another Prosa. No, he's played a lot better. He's played a lot better than Prosa has, um, and he's been a bit of a dynamo. However, we need to respond better to when we get a signed goal, because 16 seconds later, Patrick Line has scored on a weird deflection. We need to kind of be able to, after we score, have that massive boost and actually follow along, rather than just completely forget how to cover, especially Sherrod, who just gated past us like 10 times, and I don't know why we forgot to even slightly try and check him. And then the fun part, the last half a minute was extremely fun for a Minnesota Wild fan. Donato again involved, he has been such a revolution in my opinion, great on the power play, which is what to score on again, we had two power play goals, but Donato has such a good vision, he finds a wide open Jason Zucker with a perfect pass between three Jets players. Nobody's covering Jason Zucker. Stipes, I was always almost traded at the deadline. Good thing I wasn't. And no, first time in this apartment, it has to happen. The Jason Zucker punch to tie it up. And you know how I said that after we tied the game up, we have to kind of co-hold it and we have to build some momentum of it? They listened to me. This time, it's our turn to capitalize on momentum, scoring 20 seconds later with Ericsson Eck, who again played a good game. I think Ericsson Eck has been fantastic since his Iowa thing, and he has so much credit to that. I think he's taking the opportunity that came from Koivu getting hurt, and he has run with it. He has been amazingly well paced, with, especially with Donato, but also with Kunin. He has always been great with Greenway. I think he's done well with the lineups that he had. So, fair play to Ek. You've done well, and again, this is just a statement of it. Getting the winner, they try and challenge the goalie interference. That, no, that's not goalie interference at all. Ek is just lying there. <laughs> being tenacious, being in front of the net, Getting to the grid here, that's how you score goals. And we win and stuns Winnipeg for the fourth time this season. Now we just need to build on it, which is the thing again. We cannot just go, oh, we've beaten the Jets, what amazing win, and then lose three in a row. We have Calgary, that's a revenge for Domba. We need to get that win because we can get that win. We can start saying, okay, we've beaten two Canadian teams, 
who are in the playoff, who's probably contenders at this point, can we start to build on this and maybe get those six wins in a row to really elevate us in the standings and get us away from that middle to ground of chaos that's building in the West. But we'll see what happens. Thank you very much for watching. Please click like, subscribe, all of that nonsense. And hopefully now that the move is complete, I'm going to be a little bit more on time next time. Bye.